Hey everyone, I'm back to share some projects. So, my new die from Paper Tray Ink was released yesterday. Yesterday being Thursday, um, August 18th. Yeah, because today's the 19th. Today's Friday! Um, I don't know when this video will go up though. Here's the die actually. Um, it's a sea turtle in case you haven't guessed. There it is. Um, so in the die set, there is the main body. You cut two of those. You have a choice if you want to use this pattern, which is more your, you know, tortoise shell. Or this pattern, which is meant to look like seaweed. Um, onto the shell. You could use it on the bottom or the top. It's up to you, really. Um, you get two flippers for the front of his body. And a head and two flippers for the back of his body okay and also some fish because you know every turtle's got to have its own fish there we go it's a sea turtle so that's the dye the dye retails for 45 i believe on the paper train website um i don't know if it's on sale because they've been having a sale lately and a lot of stuff is discounted so you should check it out if you're interested in stitching I have um, a couple of projects I made. I use this, um, what is it called? Uh, monofilament fishing line. It's an eight pound test line um, because I made a mobile. So you, you see the um, pieces here. I picked up this um, little wood kit here at uh, on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. And I had sewn the, um, the sea turtle um, I use all wool felt, um, and this felt is from Paper Tray Ink. This is the Harvest Gold color, and then this is Lemon Tart. So it's two different colors, actually, because you can see the body of the um, turtle is a little bit darker than the top. And then I used, uh, I think this is Vintage Cream for the fish. And so I chose the seaweed pattern to go on this mobile, to go on this um, turtle, and um, stitched it all up. So you will stitch the decorative pieces first, and then you'll stitch the um, all of the uh, body parts, and then you'll stitch all the body parts into the sea, the main body of the turtle. And he's just stuffed with, um, what is that stuff called? Polyfill. That's the brand name, I think. Um, so this sea turtle is actually on a uh, mobile. I'm going to attempt to pick it up. It's hard to show it to you um, hanging because it is so large. Um, but he's he's actually on the mobile with a few other stitching dies that I have. And some pom-poms to get all tied up. Because he's been sitting on my desk. Okay. Alright, let's see if I can hang him. Yeah, you see? See that? He actually hangs at an angle. I purposely put him at an angle so that um, he would look like he's swimming through the water. And then underneath him are some um, pom-poms, wool pom-poms that I've had in my stash for a long time. These are yellow. Um, but on the other arms of the mobile, I have a scallop. This die is also a paper tray ink die. And I again, I just use the same colors I used on the turtle to stitch this one up. This was interesting stitching this up because you have to stuff it. Well, if you want it to look puffy, you want to stuff it before you um, piece it together and stitch it. So, and then on the other opposite arm of my turtle, I have my seahorse that I did for them last year. This is one of my dies as well. Um, so um, you can see it in relation to the size of the sea turtle. Um, yeah, the sea turtle. It's uh, almost the same size. And the turtle is six and a half by six and a quarter. So you can see how um, that compares to the seahorse. And then on the other side of the shell, I have a sand dollar. And again, this is another um, paper tray ink stitching die um, that they have put out years ago. I don't remember which designer did this one so yeah it, it all hangs from this little hook i i just put it on a binder clip so that i could hang it um pretty easily it 
Unfortunately, when you put it on one of these clips, it doesn't allow it to spin around, but I will change that up when I go to hang it in its permanent home. Um, I wish I could show this to you. <laughs> you could see him kind of spinning around. I wish I could show it to you um, on the video, but because I don't have a place for it to hang right now, I can't really do that. So that's one of the turtles I did. Um, here is another one. I just love having these all out together because I think they're playing together. Um, they look like they are. So um, this one has the same pattern as that one, but of course it's different colors that I used for the felt and the stitching. So more of your um, green type of seaweed and um, little goldfish. <laughs> so that's what that guy looks like. And then this turtle is your classic turtle, right? So um, this one has that, that sort of um, hexagon pattern um, on a shell and you can do so many different patterns. Um, you can think of different ways to use this because I actually have an idea of what something different to do here. Um, but, um, I made him with brown legs and appendages this time around. And then the bottom is actually brown. So he's against, these are all stuffed, but I think they're so cute when they're together because they look like they're swimming around together. But anyway, that's what I have been up to lately. Um, let me show you briefly the other dies that I use. These are the um, seashell um, dies that they have. This is the um, sand dollar. These two are the sand dollar. And then these two are the scallop. And I use these two dies basically to cut um, and stitch my pieces together. These are used more for like if you're sewing it to a, um, say, um, a flat object. Let maybe maybe you're decorating a pillow or something like that, and you want to sew this piece down to the pillow. You would use this on the the um, base fabric, and then you could stitch this. I'm sorry, you can stitch the two um, together. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it that way. Um, you know, this one goes with this one. I can't remember what. Well, obviously this one goes together because they're still hooked together. I didn't even. Um, cut them apart yet. I don't remember what this is for, but I would have to look that up. But anyway, um, this is an older die set that was released, um, previously. I think, I don't know if these are actually separate or together. Um, but you could look on the paper training website to see, um, if that's available. So that's what I've been up to. I'm going to come back and share, um, a haul that I have or hauls that I have and some stuff that came in. Um, and I'll be right back. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.